everyone welcome back to my channel today we have a really exciting video because we're going to be setting up my binder for two comebacks well one's technically a debut but we're gonna first set up for the nct dream comeback as well as set up for zero base one's debut so nct dream finally released these album previews so I am only going to be collecting these two versions, the introvert and the extrovert version. I only have one copy coming so far in a group order. That's probably all I'm going to have for now. But I know that there's going to be one version for the introvert and one for the extrovert version. So for sure, I know I'm collecting that and I already made fillers. So there's my fillers already made. And then this is the vending machine version. So sadly, it's not a, <laughs> a soda can. That would have been kind of fun though. But I don't know if I want to collect this one or the poster version because I think the poster version photo cards are in this concept and I definitely want a photo card in this concept. So I think I'm going to collect one poster version for Hechan and Renjin. And then we have to decide between the vending machine and then the QR card version, which this is also like a whole bundle. I didn't know that. I thought it was going to be like, you can buy individual ones. But the problem is, is that these cards look so cute. Like, look, oh, I think for now I'm going to collect the two photo book versions, the poster version and the vending machine version. And then if I see it, if I finally see the photo cards and I decide to collect the QR code version, then that will be it. I don't think I'm going to collect any unit cards, but I love that. Like, has NCT ever had a unit card in anything? So let's finish making the fillers. I actually like have no idea what this comeback is going to be about because like Broken Melodies was like super, it, I loved it. It's the kind of NCT dream that I enjoy, which is the sort of like, for lack of a better term, dreamy, <laughs> you know, like the melancholy, chill, life is still going on like those kind of vibes are my favorite kind of nct dream but then like why is the album called istj why are we like energy drinks motocross you know and then like then we're also introvert and extrovert but then we're also like film students because like this says like rated g and like it has like film strips and the the reel on the bottom like what what are we doing? Oh, well, we'll see. I also say this coming from an NCT fan where like a lot of their concepts like kind of don't make sense. Like why was there like a racing concept in Punch? Like they were wearing like racing jackets, but then they were also wearing like emo outfits and then also like tailored Prince jackets. It doesn't really make sense if you think about it too long. Okay, and the other comeback we have to set up for, and the other comeback we're gonna set up for is Zero Base One's debut album, Youth in the Shade. I'm only collecting the art book. I guess it's just the photo book version, the normal album, I guess. I have not picked a member that I wanna collect. If you must know, my two biases are Gunnuk and Tere. I don't know who I want to collect. I might collect both of them. We'll see how cheap their photo cards go for. But I joined a group order. So when those, when sorting claims come out, I'm going to have to pick. <laughs> but I think I'm going to pick Gunnip just because, I don't know, the vibes, the vibes feel right. But, so there's going to be four versions, two youth and two shade. 
I thought you got two per album, but you only get one. So I bought a full set of albums, so I'm actually going to have to buy two other cards. And I want to buy them as soon as they come out because with these temporary groups, if you hesitate, you are not going to catch up. That's how it was when I collected Eyes One. I hesitated when collecting Bloom Eyes because there were so many cards and I was SOL. So yeah, that's all I'm really going to collect. I don't really care about big stuff. Maybe one day, but for now, just these four cards for one member. For now. <laughs> but I'm super duper excited. I know the teaser came out. I haven't listened to the teaser, but I already made fillers for this collection. So we don't have to make fillers, so yay. And a lot of people are like clowning them on like this graphic design. I think it's fine. I've seen worse. Like it's not like, I mean, look at this, you know? <laughs> but like, it's fine, it's simple. I have always been a person that believes the debut album should be something that's like very, you don't experiment on a debut album. You know, like make it different, but don't make it too different. Cause then no one will like it. I think like La Seraphim's Fearless was like the perfect. It apparently was kind of polarizing, but like it was pretty simple, but like it was different enough to where people like me really liked it. But like, don't do an end mix. <laughs> Love you girls. Love you in mix. You know what I'm saying? Like do something, don't experiment on Thanksgiving. You know that saying? So this debut, they don't need to experiment yet. Now the first comeback, that's when we can get saucy and do something fun. But I think just like a chill, nice, sort of like simple concept is gonna work well for them. And I really love all the concept photos. I think I like the shade version better, which I also love. They put out a, like that statement or whatever that was like, the shade version is because whenever you're out in the sun and then you cast a shadow and that becomes the shade, I was like, okay, I guess. But to me, they should have been different, whatever. But I guess youth is supposed to kind of be like, like the NCT dream, like, Ugh, we're so young, we're so freaky. I also am very excited for the coasters. I don't even care who I pull, like that's so cute. Oh. And I don't know why it's like a layer card. And then like, there's also like frames, like we're getting a lot of stuff, low key, more than I thought we would. Okay, now let's get out my binder. Let's do zero base one first because zero base one is going into my Stacy binder just because there's four cards and I think that it would fit nicely. Also, I made this, I have like a little photo printer that like prints out these kind of photos and I printed out a bunch to have his freebies. And then I was like, wait, I'll print out one to put in the front. Just for now, because I did buy a, a photo card. I think I bought like a pop-up card or something that was like really cute to put up in there. It was cheap, so I bought it. Um, I already put this, this is gonna be my divider for now until I like print out cardstock and like have it look good. I did order um, some sleeves. I found some Ultra Pro like skinny size sleeves. So those should be here soon. I wish I would have known that. Granted, did I do that much research into these Beyond D binders or A5 binders? No. I just sort of was like, yeah, a lot of people are using them. I'll try it. <laughs> I have been going on the like collection subreddit recently. And a lot of people are like, how do I know if my sleeves are PVC free? And like, what are good binders? And like, blah, 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 like asking for recommendations, but they wanted like these size binders or like the little mini collect books. And I was like, I kind of was sitting here thinking, I was like, when did that become the norm? Not that I'm complaining, but like I commented and I was like, hey, just go get a binder from Office Max or Walmart or Target, wherever. And you can honestly find these nine pocket sleeves. Like they sell them. I My first ever sleeves I bought from Office Max. Now you have to make sure that you have good like inner sleeves or that you're double sleeving and you're not just putting the card in by itself because you never know if they're like PVC or acid free or not, but PVC free or acid free. So that's 
yeah so i commented that because i was like girl if you're just starting your collection i don't think you should be getting like the crazy good supplies like it took me a while to upgrade my sleeves and upgrade my sleeves that i put the cards in and upgrade my binders and make sure everything looked good so like you know don't be scared to just kind of start out cheaply okay i'm very excited it's gonna be very weird though to be like zero base one is stuck at the back when suman's on the front but i don't care maybe i can print out a freebie and put him on the back whichever one i decide to collect all right now it's time for nct dream so i actually switched i put stray kids in front of nct just because nct is bigger and so i wanted to like sort of put it at the back it just made more sense that way i have a lot of cards on the way so my next like buy haul is gonna be super exciting also i tried out poke market so that'll be a video too i had heard a lot of people like saying like i buy from poke market so this is all kind of like new to me because I've been on the outside of collecting for so long and that's kind of why I wanted to make this video is so that way I can sort of be caught up and be relevant in the collecting world. So I already put a page in here. It already has a sleeve in the middle. So I guess we'll do introvert extrovert because that's kind of like the order. And then I guess vending machine or no, let's do that. Because I think the vending machine version is not going to be the other concept. And I kind of want this concept in the middle. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should have waited a little bit longer before doing this. But. Oh. Introvert, extrovert, poster, vending. Okay. This is how we'll do it. I'm really curious about like what the title track is going to be. I hope it's good. I honestly have been not into NCT title tracks lately, like at all. Like I was a huge, huge fan during 2018, 2019, during when all of those good songs and good title tracks were coming out. And then now we're kind of like in the sticker era of NCT and like glitch mode wasn't my favorite. So I definitely, I'm into NCT for the vibes. Yay. Like I like their personalities. I like their B-sides a lot, but like the title tracks always miss. Like Ayo, what were we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Or two baddies, like sometimes they're just like funny and I'm like, do they? Do they know that this is like literally hilarious? Like, are they playing in under the joke? All right, so that will do it for this video. I'm super duper excited for those releases to come out. I'll probably do unboxings on my channel for my two Zero Base One albums and my one NCT Dream album that's coming. It'll probably be late, but I don't care. I wanna document it and I wanna show everyone my pulls. So thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one.